Dr. Suresh Naik, former group director, ISRO, what are you looking forward to in the next 14 days? Yeah, actually, first I would like to explain what is the moon crust formed of. Mm -hmm. You see, the moon crust, which is a loose soil, is formed of three different things coming from three different sources. One is there is a lot of bombardment of the celestial objects like comets and meteorites, etc., continuously happening on the moon. And since there is no atmosphere, they happen at a very large speed. Mm -hmm. And that is one thing which uh, has been crushing the rocks there since last millions of years. And uh, this uh, small powder of the rocks is there on the moon's soil. Second thing, volcanic activity, when it takes place, the volcanic ash gets thrown out and deposits in the moon's soil. And third thing, when the big objects, celestial objects, they impact on the moon, then big craters are formed and the inside material is thrown about outside mm -hmm. and that also is mixed with the uh, moon soil. So uh, what we are trying to do by means of a rover is try to analyze the soil. The advantage which we have got is remote sensing. You know, we don't have to dig up. You know, we don't have to have an arm to dig up like Russian Luna had provided. We have to do it only from remote sensing. And there are two ways of doing it. One is the alpha particle X-ray spectrometer. Mm -hmm. Second is laser-based laser spectrometer. Okay, alpha particle X-ray, it, uh, it throws the light, I mean, throws the uh, thing on uh, these uh, soil. And uh, when the X-ray uh, uh, gets reflected, it uh, rover picks it up. And that tells up, that tells what the composition. Second thing is when the laser-based uh, array is goes in, going there, then that burns up the materials on the surface and uh, the plasma is created and plasma also creates light and that falls back on the rover and that is really interpreted into by means of the wavelength into what materials they have. So by means of this, we will know the composition. Second one is the laser-based one, I already told you, and the difference between laser-based and the alpha particle X-ray based instruments are laser based instrument can go deep inside the soil of the moon, right. whereas the alpha particle X-ray will be doing the surface soil analysis. So right. this is the basic difference. And what uh, the exciting things mm -hmm. uh, people are expecting the rover to find out is whether we come out with a discovery of uh, you know, precious uh, materials, uh, minerals like gold, whether there will be helium-3, whether of course there will be aluminium, oxygen and silicon, we know that they are there. Okay. So, so you're now, saying once, the, uh, finding the strong, minerals. And of course, the rover is also going to find out the water content. Right. So it's the water content, the water but content, finding out what are those uh, in the soil. Uh, yeah, yes, so, uh, Dr. Ghosh, you wanted to come in. Pardon? Right. So, so now I, I measured the first Martian rock with uh, with the alpha proton X-ray spectrometer, and we have it in the four of the first four of the NASA rovers. Mm -hmm. It's a good instrument, but it has um, a large margin, a relatively large margin of error. So you will be able to tell, but not in that detail, and it tells chemistry. And then it doesn't tell mineralogy. So you can say the these are the elements present, but not what is the structure of that element. Um, and and you it does not have a sensitivity in throughout the spectrum. Right. For that you need something more sensitive, which uh, like a mass spectrometer that we have it on curiosity. So so it is it will give you a generic idea, and I don't think it has sensitivity for water that, that the laser instrument has to tackle. So. So it's a good instrument, but it's a first cut thing. Um, the imagery uh, the, that will yield some more information, but um, abroad, for example, in our Mars Pathfinder mission, one of the very big discoveries was, see, we uh, assumed that the Mars was made up of basalt, the rock type of basalt, but we found from the first few analysis that it's a, a, a rock type called andesite, a, basalt, a, a volcanic rock type. This is all based on the alpha proton X-ray 
uh, spectrometer, uh, silicon content. But the silicon content also has a margin of error, plus minus 2% maybe. 